I'm Mike. And I'm Michael. And this is MatchboxCommercial.com's Matchbox in Motion, where we're all about commercial real estate in the Shenandoah Valley. We're here at the Urban Exchange Building, where a new pizza place will be opening soon. Tell us about it, Michael. I have three words for you. Pizza by the Slice. It's going to be here in the Urban Exchange. It's going to be amazing ambiance, indoor, outdoor seating. Hey, hey, hey. We're late to a meeting. Let's go. Jordan on the breakaway. <laughs> Today we want to talk about some very basic commercial real estate concepts. In commercial leasing, how prices are quoted is a very basic concept. Prices are generally quoted as a dollar per square foot per year. So Michael, let's assume that I've got a business and I need 1,000 square feet of office space. And let's say that I see a quoted rate of $10 per square foot per year. How do I find out what I'm paying per month? All right, in order to do that, first you would take the total square footage, which is 1,000 square feet, multiply that by your $10 per square foot number to get you 10,000 per annum in rent. All right, so I take my 1,000 square feet times $10 per square foot per year, and then I got $10,000 for the year. Okay. okay, and then what do I do to get the monthly number? Well, after that, we're just going to divide by 12, and it's going to give you $833 per month, so you can budget your business accordingly. Perfect. Thank you. This is a listing agreement that we uh, discussed this morning for the uh, side. Thank you very much. This is Kathleen McCluskey. She's our accounts coordinator. She keeps us organized. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. One other very basic concept has to do with how commercial spaces are measured. Generally, commercial spaces are measured from the outside of the outside wall to the middle of a shared wall. If you are in a building that has multiple tenants, then your space will be measured from the outside of your outside wall to the middle of that shared wall with another tenant on the other side. This concept is very basic, but a lot of times it's not understood. That's it for today's issue uh, edition of MatchboxCommercial.com's Matchbox in Motion. We look forward to seeing you next time. Please gauge us on Google or like us on Facebook.